What is up, Mother Chuggers? Rip Trippers back at you today with another big video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at... Oh, it's highly anticipated. Everybody wants to know. Rip, what is the deal with this product? <laughs> what is it? What is it, Rip? Oh, I'll tell you what it is. It's the Smock Novo 2. Yeah, buddy. Supposedly, everybody loved the Smock Novo 1. Now, you got the 2. Here's the deal with this. Looks the same as the 1. It feels the same as the 1, but you got damn near double the battery life. That's the biggest selling point, in my opinion, for this. Damn near double the battery life with this 2, and it's the exact same size. And according to Smock, they fixed the automatic sensor. They made it to where it doesn't auto fire. Now, I never had any issues with the Nova 1 auto firing and I use that thing for months. But according to Smock, they fixed the automatic sensor to where it's more sensitive and it's more reliable which is good. Because in the one week I've been using this thing, it's been super reliable. It's been good. No auto firing, no leaking, not even any condensation. Now I know over time as I use this, all pods are like this, especially with the airflow slot. You know, the hole at the bottom of the pod, any pod that's got a hole at the bottom of the pod, it's going to pull up over time. If you're going to be using it for a long period of time, it just is what it is. It's gravity. Oh yeah, you get two refillable pods with this. Comes with a 1.0 mesh pod and a 1.4 ohm mount alone. Now I like the 1.4 ohm mount alone better than 1.0 mesh. I get better flavor off the 1.4 ohm mount alone. And I don't know if it's got ceramic in it. I know they offer a ceramic pod. I just don't know if the one I received has got the ceramic. It seems really clean, man. You guys gonna see me vaping in a minute. But like I said, I like the 1.4 ohm better than the freaking 1 ohm mesh, which I have in here right now. Oh yeah, they market this thing vapes all the way up to 25 watts. Oh, we'll see about that. I think the Novo 1 vaped all the way up to 16 watts. And yes, the Novo 2 and the Novo 1 are unregulated. So as you vape on it, that battery life is gonna drop and the hit's gonna get weaker. But 25 freaking watts for a pod this small with an automatic switch? Are you kidding me? Like I said, we'll see about that. I Alrighty, yeah, buddy. So here's the packaging. The Smock Novo 2 kit comes in by Smock, Smoke, Smoke Tech, whatever you want to call them. And here's what she looks like inside that packaging. When we crack her open, you're going to receive two refillable pods, which is a big pro. You also receive this pod mod and a USB cable. Also included is this warranty card and a Novo 2 kit user guide. And check this out, guys. You got a bunch of different color options you could choose from for this bad boy. Seven of them. Big pro. And here's one of those color options dialed in. This is actually one of my favorite ones. The rainbow with the, uh, I don't even know what to call this, tie-dye style colors. I'm digging it. I will say this. It is a little bit shiny and reflective on the outsides around the trim. I don't like shiny stuff. You guys know it but it's a good looking product looks just like the novo one same size but this thing has got almost double the battery life 800 milliamp hour battery the novo one had a 450 i believe another biggie biggie diggity pro guys so it says smock down here on the back it says novo 2 designed by smock oh yeah at the bottom of the pod mod you got your usb port now it would have been better if this is a usb c that's the only thing in my opinion that would have made this thing better and it's got 0.5 amp charging of course at the top you got your refillable pod mouthpiece all that good stuff you guys know the drill but it doesn't come pre-installed you got to put it together you got to pull this puppy chucker out fill her up put it together but yeah Here's what she looks like, and it's nice and comfortable, man. Very similar to the Novo One. A little bit more smoothed out than the Novo One. More comfortable, in my opinion. And you got a nice size hole up top for the vapor to escape into your mouth, into your lungs, all that good schnizznat. And it is press fit, and it is tight boy that's tight and i like it it ain't going anywhere and if you look inside the pod mod you got your connections your two connections down there and then on one side you got that sensor the automatic sensor so as you pull on it it's going to fire up just like the novo one like i said you get two refillable pods with this one a 1 ohm mesh and a 1.4 ohm mount along both refillable pods hold two mils of juice and here's what the bottom of each pod looks like you got your connections and then the hole in the middle and that's for the airflow to enter and so far i've not had any juice come out of those holes now i know it probably will as i use this thing over time the novo one did that a little bit of condensation a little bit of juice pull up, but it wasn't horrible. This one's probably gonna be the same. Just like most pods that have holes down there where the connections are. And then on the side of each pod, you got that little rubber grommet. You just pull it out and fill her up. Go ahead and pull that bad boy out. You got a nice size hole, as you guys can see. And when you fill this up, you're obviously gonna wanna tilt it. Pull that rubber grommet back and tilt it a little bit and then just fill her up. From there, you just plug it. You want to let this sit for a good five minutes. Check it out. She's already starting to wick. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. That's a good thing. But you want to let this sit for a good five minutes. Got to let that cotton and that coal head soak up all the juice. If you don't let it sit for five minutes, at least five minutes, you may get a dry hit and burn the coal head out. All right? Once you let it sit for five minutes, then what you're going to want to do from there is just press fit the pod. And like I said, nice tight fit. And I don't know if you guys just saw that, but the battery gauge light, the LED light right here, this itty bitty light, it just lit up. Here, I'll do it again. I'll pull this pod out. Come on, pop that bad boy back in there and watch her light up. You see that? So when you pop this pod in there, the light's going to light up white. And as you vape on this thing, you're going to get three colors. One of three is going to light up when you vape on this thing. Either green, orange, or red. The color green means she's pretty much fully charged. Orange means she's midway charged. And red means you need to charge her up. Another thing to point out, you really can't see the level of your juice with this. In order to see it, what you got to do is pull the pod out. That may be a con to some of you guys. So with this color, I got the one ohm mesh. With the green, I got the 1.4 ohm mount alone. Let's go vape this bad mamma jamma. Like I said, guys, one ohm mesh is in this color. And then you 
you got the 1.4 ohm max lung in this. Oh, and the juice I'm rocking in both these is Transmission. It's a free base juice. If you go on the sites, on the sites, oh my God. If you go online and you search reviews on Transmission, just go to YouTube. Look up Transmission reviews. You're going to see how bomb that juice is. Hell, it's my top three favorite juice of all time. Again, Transmission, strawberry lemonade with a touch of watermelon. You get on over at Vape Trick. V-A-P-E-T-R-I-K. Use code V-I-P, capital V, capital I, capital P, and get 10% off of it. And anything else on Vape Trick's site. VapeTrick.com. Check it out. First things first, lung hit. All this one mesh. Here we go. Great vapor production, first of all. And the automatic switch for this, it is sensitive. Now, the vape I'm getting off this 1-0 mesh, and you guys saw it. The green light showing, that means she's fully charged. No way in hell am I getting 25 watts out of this. <laughs> it hits good, just not 25 watts good. If I were to have to guess, and I've been doing this for a long time, but if I were to have to guess the wattage I'm getting out of this, right now, fully charged, maybe 18 watts. Maybe. Here, I'll take another hit. Now it hits good. Flavor's good. It's not real hot. And I'm talking about with the one ohm mesh. I'm getting average flavor off this for a vape pot system. It's not too hot of a vape. I would say it's lukewarm. Again, that's the one ohm mesh. In the vapor, you guys see it. It's tons of vapor for a freaking automatic switch vape pot system. Now you got to give it the smock. The automatic switch with this, it's definitely an upgrade. I notice it. I'd say this is almost as sensitive as something like the Vlad and RE. Yeah, they stepped it up. Smock, good job on that. Now I'm going to take me a hit off this 1.4 ohm. I'm going to do a mouse lung first, and then I'm going to do a lung hit. I'm going to show you this bad boy, what she could do. Because the flavor I get off the 1.4 ohm is better than this. And just so y'all know, I tested six different pods, three different 1.4 ohm and three different 1 ohm mesh, and I'm getting the same results every time. So 1.4 ohm, got some transmission in here once again, and I'm doing a mouth lung first. Here we go. It's much better, much better. Hits harder, but it's a higher resistance. Now the vapor production, you guys just saw it, and mouth lung with the 1.4 ohm is not as much as the 1 ohm mesh and lung hit. Here, I'll show you again. But the automatic switch and the hit, wow. Now watch a lung hit. Just as much vapor production, just as much as this one mesh. And off this one, I'm getting a little bit warmer vape than this one. Not by much, but it's noticeable. Still got to point this out. It ain't vaping at 25 watts. Yeah, I like this 1.4 ohm pod better. Definitely like it better than this, but this ain't bad. Oh yeah, and if we go back to mouth lungs, the draw, it is on the loose side, but because the automatic switch is so sensitive, it's good. And to me, in lung hit mode off the 1.4 ohm versus the one ohm mesh, I get pretty much just about the same airflow. Maybe a little bit looser than one ohm mesh, a tiny bit. Now, as far as price point goes to these things, I'm seeing it range from 20 bucks all the way up to 35. Of course, y'all know me. I'll post a link down in the description of the site that I know of that is credible that is carrying this thing or will be carrying it. I'm done. That's it. I'm out. This is Rip Trippers. And remember, smoking is dead. Vaping is the future. And the future is now. Wow. See ya.